Hello, this is my project for Humanities, which is supposed to be a commentary on photographs of Andorran life and Philippine culture. However, I decided that I wanted to commentate on photographs which I took in Taiwan because I had the opportunity to do so and felt that I could depict it better because I am more familiar with it. So without further ado, let's look at the pictures. So the first picture was taken of a building with um, quite a distance from the 101, this, uh, this particular building. This is the type of 101. Rather than taking a picture of the 101 itself, I decided to take this one because of how interesting the lines of this particular building were, especially in this photo. You can see the parallelism, uh, parallelism between uh, this building and the 101. Um, you can tell by the lines, which are um, in this photo, and they're almost perfectly parallel. Um, all the lines are heading upwards towards the sky, which is um, basically blank or white in this photo. So it creates emphasis on the buildings by providing lots of space. Okay, the next photo was taken during a lantern festival. This particular angle creates an oblong shape of the subject, which is the lantern of the ox and the rider. Um, naturally, lighting is a key element in this photo, and the bright colors, as well as the details on the man riding the ox, as you can see in the shirt, really helps to bring out the photo. And the background is uh, pitch black, well, because it's the nighttime, and that also helps to bring out the lighting and the subject of the photo. Okay, this photo was taken in a provincial part of Taiwan. And what I like about this photo is the contrast between the empty upper half and the um, bottom half below, which has the railing, the foliage, and the city. Um, the lines of the railing are also like to directed towards the city itself. And it's just interesting because of the contrast between the upper half and the lower half. Um, okay. So this next photo is of a gate uh, of a temple in Taiwan. Uh, and basically the photo just follows the rule of three. We're separa separated into three lines horizontally. So we have the upper half, the gate, and the bottom half, the stairs. Um, the combination of the colors such as the stairs and the gate and the sky and the foliage in the background uh, basically all aid in providing uh, the subject matter with emphasis, emphasis on the subject matter so the gate just comes out and uh, it's just a clean simple picture okay this photo is centered around the subject person which is in contrast to the lake Unfortunately, the photo was taken inside a, a move-in vehicle, so the focus is a little bit lost. However, in spite of this, the person and his motorbike uh, will stand out in comparison to the background because of the colors and the spacing of the background. And um, it's a rather monotonous color scheme, except for the guy with the shirt and the pink bits in his um, bicycle. Okay, this particular photo is of just a flower. It's a very simple photo. However, um, it's just I believe it's well executed because the focus uh, is mainly on the flower, and there's not too much else, just the flower only. Okay, this photo I particularly um, was taken in a mountainous town. And basically, the most apparent feature is its uh, use of distance and space. Um, from the bottom right, you can see the close distance of the town, and from the um, the up the middle section, its draw distance is quite incredible. And so, it's just a striking feature of this particular photo. Okay, the next photo photo is a uh, focused on a building in Kaohsiung. This photo appealed to me because of its contrast with the park. You can see the trees being dull, uh, while the building and the one in front is displays a wider range of colors. And then the sky places focus on the middle and the bottom half of the photograph. And so you, you get, you're left with the contrast of the colors and the darkness of the bottom. 
Okay, so this next photo is of um, uh, the street, uh, the street sign of um, Shilling Night Market. Basically, the photo has a lot of colors and degrees of lighting, especially on the right side of the photo. Actually, actually only on the right side of the photo and a little bit of bottom. Uh, the right side of the photo being that of the street and the left side being that of an alley. Um, so it's a big contrast between the two. And then you have the very the subject of the middle, which is of the signpost, which is very bright and um, has its biggest contrast with the darkness around it to its left. Okay, the last photo is of a street in Taipei at an intersection. It was taken uh, at an intersection. What is interesting about this photo is the use of spacing and uh, lines to create a dynamic picture, which has a lot of depth and direction. The natural environment, such as the streets and the bridge, create uh, these lines which direct your eyes towards the distance of the street. And overall, it still retains the subject matter, which is the people, the crowd, the drivers in the middle. Okay, so that's it for my presentation. Thank you for watching.